the hearts of men. The hearts of men. My God of glory. Something has changed. Something has changed. What you call celebrities. My God, what people doing to become one. Hey? My God of glory, Holy Spirit, talk. Talk to me right now, Holy Spirit. Talk, Jesus. Talk. Talk. The lawlessness that has taken over in this earth is beyond me and you. Look at this now. People are going to hell faster than all people going to the embassies. Have you ever been where our embassy is? Like say back in the days in Jamaica, like when I was in Jamaica, like the lines were so long. The lines to hell are way longer than the lines that is at the American Embassy or the Canadian Embassy. The lines are wrapped around buildings. It wrap around your community. It wrap around the, the, the neighborhood. It wrap around the state. It wrap around the world. The, 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 the lines to hell. People are rushing to hell. People running race to get there. Well, you, you, can't you see? The lines are so long. Longer than the lines that we used to see at the embassy. The lines. People need to wake up. Pe listen, wake up. And you remember when people used to wake up to go to the embassy from early in the morning, daybreak? Before daybreak? People are waking up with thoughts of how to kill. Thoughts of how to steal. Start of how to, you understand, to manipulate. What next I need to do to get to the top? What next, who next I need to, to do things to, to get to the top? Who next I need to backbite? Which piece of clothes I need to take off so that I can be noticed? How much more bottom I need to put on? Maybe I need to make the breast a little bigger. What not, which man I can take to, you know what I'm saying? Jesus of Nazareth for my name to be mentioned. Are you doing it for yourself? Because if you're doing it for yourself, you're still a bad. Hmm? You're doing it for the devil. You're not doing it for you. You're not. I remember being out there and every stage I go on, I go to the, the hotel room and I kneel down and I beg God for forgiveness. So if you have a heart like mine, a conscience like mine, you're not happy. Because I was not happy. I was not happy. And when I saw this other woman tearing me down for this crown and this throne, I said, have it. I'm not going to hell with nobody. I'm not going to go to hell and lose my soul for that. So, so, so when I see them running a race to, to lose their souls, it pains my heart. I sure know a lot of you think I would disappear from the scene. Because I get baptized. Don't it? My God of glory. Uh-uh. God said, Jesus himself, yeah, which is God. Say, listen this. Lord Jesus. You can't light a candle and put it under a bushel or under a basket. The Bible said, let your light so shine before men so they may see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. This light will forever shine. This light will ever shine. It will forever shine. And this is the light of God that is upon me. And I don't care if you like me or not. No, 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 God like me. My body in my name of Jesus. So come. If you want to walk, come. Because I have a warrior whose name is Christ Jesus. And he's not afraid. And there's no battle that we ever lost. So come. Come with your attacks because I'm not afraid. This Jezebel spirit and Delilah spirit that has taken you over. You're losing your sanity, losing your direction, losing yourself, losing your soul. Come on, men and women. You were not brought up that way. Your parents did not bring you up for you to be greedy and fighting for the devil. Aeroplane. Habo shaka. Hebo shaka. 
Rebamba bokote ya bosai. Blood of Jesus, wash you. Blood of Jesus, wash you. You need to fear God and stop fearing men. But because you fear men and you're looking for men. Lord Jesus, come over here so we can your table. I'm not looking for anybody to validate me. When I, when, when, when I see some things, I'm like, Marian, is you start this, you know, so you better hang it. You start it, so finish it. Yeah? There was a woman by the name of Lady Patra. She said she was the queen of the park. She stole a song from me. I wrote this song when I was in Canada. I'm on a long distance call. I'm talking to my baby down a yard. And she stole it. I almost slapped her over at Sting one night for it. Yeah? But I leave her alone. Yeah? When I look at her, no. I, there's a woman that assigned her. I, I think God assigned Chevelle Franklin to her. Chevelle used to pray for me. And I saw Chevelle now praying for that woman all the time. When I look, it's like she's lost. She's so lost. Trying to come back so many times. Come back to what, Patra? Go to God. There's nothing for you to come back to. You, you, you go gain the world and lose your soul. What does it profit a man? People of God, we need to start praying harder than before. For our sisters, the time you're there, telling them, them this and then that and they look good. You don't look good. The addition that you put on don't look good. Shanshia, your barn look good. You didn't need anything else. What's wrong with you? Gracie, you didn't look good. You don't look good again. You mess up yourself. You follow fashion. I don't care if you like me or not. The devil is a liar and the devil is lying to you. When things start pop down and every branches are drop off and you can't catch up, what you gonna do? You have your children to live for to see your grandchildren. Come on! When your children go to school, people laugh and talk about you. Come on now. The only way you should be seen in that manner is if a man video you unknowingly and put it out. And may God mess them up. Yeah, them type of man there. Things that you should have in your bedroom, you're gone out. But... Lady saw bring bed down a sun face, you're gonna bring bed now. It played out. Get it in your head, somebody need to tell you. Yeah? Oh, God of glory. There was a woman, she is still alright. Foxy Brown and I used to be friends. And I did a, um, two songs for her. She did one for me, but then she wouldn't give me the song. So me and her start war. Yeah? And the, the accusation was that I like her man. I want her man. She said it to my female manager. I'm like, what? You know? Which was Praga, who was friend with my ex. You know? So I don't know how that possible. So anyway... She was about to say something about my career and I just shut it down. And I said some things. Because me no normally not my mouth, so me under construction now, but back then. I saw her reaching out to me recently. And I'm like, she reaching out to me. She reaching out to me because she's she wants me to do some video clip for another female who is going through. And I couldn't do no more than just tell her, say, when I was going through, you see, when it was like the world was against me, people set people against me. I had was to turn to Christ. And that is where I find comfort and I found healing. And that is where she need to go. Tell her to go to God. Talk to God. I want to see. Oh, you're going to take this message today. It's not preaching. I want to see how you're going to take this message. Yeah? And what you're going to say. Because I care zero about what you say. Nothing. Yeah? I don't care. Yeah? I am trying to help you because just like me, there are times when we lose ourselves. And we do things that we shouldn't do. Yeah? I am 
on the lineup for Bob Marley birthday celebration next week. You think if I was still out there as lady saw, I dash up and fling up and kill out. You think they would even call me for such an event? I am so honored to be a part of that lineup. That's one of the good news I wanted to tell you. There are things that God has prepared for us. There are open doors that are set before us that no man can shut. But until we clean up our mess, until we walk away from our mess, until we realize that that is not of God, until we go back to our parents and grandparents and remember how we were brought up. Good morning, ma'am. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I will, Auntie Mer. Yes, I will. Yeah, yeah. When you go back to the way how we were brought up and not the way how the world is bringing up their children, some of you people, the way you're bringing up your children, before time you start put on nails on them, you start doing this and that and that, and their babies, and they grow up wanting, yet you don't know how to tell them, no, you can't have it. So however they should get it, they're going to get it. People, come on no man. Come on. So when my manager told me that, he got a call, you know, and... They'd like me to be on the, the Bob Marley birthday celebration this time around. I'm like, my God. I remember when the Lord sent me to Tony Rebel. Tony Salute, um, Rebel Salute, I mean. And I didn't understand it. But for me to be on that lineup. And some of you devils. You know, I try not to tell you because you devils. You will do everything, but you cannot stop what God has already predestined. So from when, when, when I, I, I remember listening to, to Bob Molly and I hear him talk about God, you know, and his mother, you know, was from the Apostolic Church also. So I'm like, wow, God, God. You know? I just thank God for the, the cleansing, for the cleaning blood. Yeah, the cleansing blood. You don't see it, but it is there and it's doing miracles. And I'm so sorry for my sisters and the desperation that is upon them. They're desperate and, and they, they don't even know when to stop. People of God, I don't want to lose sight of what I'm preaching right here. Yeah? I don't want to lose sight of what is happening here. There's no more long lines to the embassy. There's long lines to hell. Yes? So long that it just wrapped around, wrap around people, children. Yeah, it's around the whole soul. It is like hell is just sucking in people at a rate that is beyond us. At a rate that is beyond the norm. Yeah? Satan has his chair leaders standing at the gate of hell rejoicing right now on your behalf. How you feel about that? Yeah? The devil and his offspring, they're standing at the gates right now and they're rejoicing, applauding you, applauding you because you're coming, you, you, you're coming, you're coming, you're coming fast, man. They're, they're like, ah, she's soon come, man. Yeah, yeah, soon enough she's gonna die. Soon enough, and she's gonna die in her sin. He's gonna die in his sin. Leave him, leave him and let him, yeah, man, leave him. Yeah. And they are. Rejoicing right now. They are cheerleaders. Yes? And right now as we speak. Because the race. The race. That is taking place. My God. People are kicking down each other to get here. And they kicking up. Because you think your race 
chasing another one to get to the top, but it's not the top only. It's not to the top. It may look like it's to the top, but it's, it's hell. That is where that race is leading you to. Yeah? Satan is, the, is right there cheering you on him and his entourage. Yeah? Clapping you. How you feel about that? Hmm? Yeah? Listen to this. Run for Christ and stop running for the devil. The Bible said, run the race that is set before you. Look into the altar and finish off your feet. Your mother used to run that race. Some of your mother still alive, still running that race. Come on, join with her and run. And if she pass, take up the torch and run with her. Run. Run and finish the race for her if she had passed. Run the race that is set before you. Look into the art and finish off your feet. There is a finish line. And when you finish this race, the race that God has set before you, you will reach right there where you need to be. Yeah? Look at the devil now. You're running thinking you're, you're running to the top. And when you run, you go meet up. The, you, right there, the devil said, Welcome! My faithful servant, you have done tremendously well. Here is your award and your reward. Don't go. Yeah, your apartment down there. How does that sound? You need to submit now or go to hell. Submit because we some people are afraid to preach the true word. How people just want to preach about heaven and not hell. There is good and bad among us. So where you think good people, people, good people go to heaven and yeah, there is a hell. I don't want to get there and I don't want to get there. Yeah. Yeah. The blasphemers, the Bible said it, murderers. Yeah. They are in line to go there. Yeah, blasphemers are on in line to go there. Adulterers, they are in, in line. Sexual, the ones that have sexual, uh, immoral people, they are going there too. Yeah, rapists and warrior workers and witchcraft people. People like you going there. Yeah, evil people. People who bad mind people and kill them because of what God has blessed them with. Those are who are in line to go there. Yeah. Men who abuse children, rape and kill them, rapists and murderers, they are going there. They are in line. Yeah? Yeah? The faithless ones are in line. Pastors are in line too. Yeah? Prime ministers, yeah? And top people, people in high places, they are in line going right there because you think if they're doing evil, they're not going there? Submit no. Repent or go to hell. Heads of governments are in line. Yeah, entertainers are in line. They are going there. The cowards are there. Yeah, they're, they're already there. And there's more to go there. Yeah? I didn't put this list together. The Bible said it. Proverbs 21 verse 8. Yeah? Consist of the type of people that will be going there. Luther. God bless you. Yes? These are the people that it consists of. And there are many more that's heading there if you don't turn. If you don't turn. Yeah? I want to get to Matthew. Matthew 25, verse 46. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Submit and resist the devil like the scripture say. Submit right now. Right now unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. It's because you're not resisting the devil why you yield to temptation. Yes? Open your eyes and look at what you're doing and tell me where Will you reside when you die in your sin? Look at what you're doing. Each and every one of us need to look at what we are doing. Look at your life. Look what is taking place. What you are doing. Look at what you're doing to your children. Look what you're doing to your wife. Look what you're doing to your husband. Look what you're doing to your family.
family members. Look what you're doing to the poor. Look what you're doing to the needy. Look what you're doing to the less fortunate. Look what you're doing to the innocent. And tell me where you will reside. Because the Bible tells us where we will reside. Yes? Yes? Unless you repent. Yes, woman of God. Unless you repent, you're not going where you would expect to go. The devil of your mind twisted. Walking around killing people. Have you ever given life to anyone? You're going to hell. You're going to hell. You need to stop. No. Because your hell bone. Put down them guns. Put down them guns. Yeah, go and find a job. It doesn't matter what job it is. The Bible said by your sweat, the sweat of your brow, you shall eat. Amen, somebody. Turn and submit to God. Submit to God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Open your eyes. Hell is like a burying ground. That is what I believe. Hell is like a burying ground. He don't have enough space. So guess what? He yeah, the burying ground is full. But the mortician just keep on putting bodies on top of bodies. Bodies on top of bodies. Because they don't want to lose the business. So you think that the devil going to tell you to stop? The devil will not tell you to stop what you're doing. The devil will encourage you to do more. Yeah. Why not more for the devil? Climb up more for the devil. Yes. More money, yeah, more riches, yeah, more wealth. Yes, you're gonna be able to take pictures with oh Kim Kardashian, yeah. That's easy. Is that worth going to hell for? He ain't dying in your sin. Hmm? I'm not saying everybody, yeah, is going, but if you don't turn, you're going. Yeah? Hell. No partial. All are welcome. All. The devil is like, everyone is welcome here. Yes. You think remote TV down there? You think fan down there? Mm -mm. Listen to this now. No matter how many people die in their sin, hell will not refuse you. Hell will not refuse you if you don't turn from your sin and you die in your sin. Hell will not turn you away. Hell doors are always open to get you in. Yet, hell all, yet there's a sign that says welcome. A sign that is engraved by fire. Yet, and it's not the fire of God. And it is there. It is saying welcome. You will never see a sign in hell that says we don't have any vacancy here. When you die in your sin, hell you won't have that sign that said turn away we no longer have there is vacancy they're gonna pack you air they're digging deeper depths right now so they can accommodate you do you still want to live in sin do you still want to live in sin when you know hell will not have a sign that said no vacancy when you know that hell never close its door the, the hell door there's no door on it it's always open amen somebody so until you repent and turn, that is where you're heading. Yeah? And God have a way. God have a way to cut our life short. Do you know it's an entertainer? A female artist that died for me to be saved? I don't know where I would be if I did not go to that funeral. But from the night before, I could feel like something is changing. Something is happening. I went to the club and I got drunk. Because if I drink red wine, I'm alright. But the white wine, I don't touch it. Something in it made me drunk. And I went to a man, fell asleep on my rug right there at the bath, in front of the bath. And I remember waking up and saying, Marian, you disappoint God again. Didn't you? Pro it's, it's like God said, you, you promised you wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's like something. And when my driver called me from out the queen. And I, I, I didn't want to wake up to go to the funeral, but I said, it's a female artist. I had was to go. I met her only once and she was so, you know, she was even crying when her rhythm wouldn't play. You know, and I said, come on, you can freestyle. Come on, come do a cappella. And, you know, 
and something happened at that funeral I told you God used the pastor to tell me there's a space in heaven for me you see from that day when I find out that there really a, there was a place for me there I said I know I'm not going to hell and I went home and the Holy Spirit came with me and talked with me minister to my soul and that day that was the second time the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said go and get baptized you may be looking for God to talk to you from his mouth. But God also gave us yeah, authority to speak on his behalf. On the 14th of December, he said, you are now my servant who will be ministering for me. So don't you stay there looking for God to speak to you. I am a vessel. I am a godly vessel. And I'm here to tell you, not just you, but just people, everybody who are in sin. Repent now and turn. Can't you see? You see like this pandemic thing is going anywhere? This virus is like it going anywhere, Sister Maureen J. Bell? Brother Freddie, Freddie, it is not moving. You don't see what's happening here. No, they're giving us injection and injection, but you see it moving? What is happening now? It's still taking lives. Are you going to die in sin if you should go tomorrow? Because if I should die tomorrow, I'm ready. I'm ready. I have cleansed everything. My hands and my heart, everything. I washed everything and I have God to wash me again. I have not been living in a sinful life. I am not living a sinful life. I am ready if God says it's time to go. So you don't cry about me if I go tomorrow. It's all okay. It's all good. I am ready to go. Amen, somebody. I am not afraid of death. Amen. Amen. Aquarius, you're serving God. So that is not where you will reside in eternity. You will not spend eternity there. If you're with God, if you're on this train, the train that God, um, yeah, this train, this train that carry no backbiter, this train that carry no warmongers, this train that carry no bad mind, covetous people, this train that does not carry murderers, this train that don't carry hypocrites and thieves, this train that don't carry prostitutes, this train that does not carry false prophets, this train is a godly train. And once you're on this train, you're no longer hell bone. You are heaven bone. You are heaven bone, people of God. Repent, submit yourself right now unto God and turn from the devil and he will flee from you, people of God. People of God, hell of vacancy. Tell somebody, hell of vacancy. Tell somebody that hell is open unto you if you won't repent. Tell them hell is real. God spoke about it. Amen. Before you are consumed by fire, turn. Because you don't know you can go to bed and don't even wake up. Yeah? Some people believe there's not a heaven, there's not a hell. <laughs> Suppose you pass tomorrow or today or when. And you wake up. And you find yourself laying there in the lake of hell. Tormenting. Like the rich man and Lazarus. Hmm? Sister Clover Campbell, God bless you. Alison Daly, may the Lord bless you. Jamaican favor, God bless you. Jessica, good morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Yeah? It's time for us, the El Raiders, to raid him. Because too many of our children are going to him. I have some that I've been praying for. Yes, Darren, it's time for a raiders to raid hell. It's time for us to create havoc in the kingdom of darkness. It is not time to be silent. It is time for us to tell our sisters that you don't look good. Yes, it's time for us to tell our sister is shameful. It's time to tell our sister it played out. It is time to tell our sister there's no higher to go. There's no higher to go. There's no higher to go. Super holy woman, tell them. There is no higher. You're going lower. You're lowering yourself. And that is the lie that the devil is telling you that you look good. It no look 